All right, so welcome back. Today in this video, we're gonna be looking at some fluid mechanics practice problems for the civil FE exam review. And for the first section that we'll be covering in fluid mechanics is going to be flow measurement. So let's go ahead, dive into the practice problems. Um, some important things to note as you're you know, doing these type of practice problems is units are very key and they can be very tedious. So as we're going through, you'll notice I'll be making sure our units make sense, canceling them, canceling certain units off and making sure we get the proper unit so that we can get the, the right answer that we need. All right. So number one says, what is the specific gravity of a fluid that has a density of 1000 kilograms per meter cubed and a specific weight of 9.81 kilonewtons per meter cubed. Okay, so what information are we given? We're given um, the density of the, um, of the fluid, we're also given the specific weight of the fluid. Okay, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find the specific gravity of the fluid. Okay. All right, so what formulas do we need? Well, I'm gonna do a quick search in the manual and see what comes up for a specific gravity. So 13 different things come up. So I first come into the fluid mechanics section. It's the first, it's a good sign because that's what we're currently doing. All right, so it says um, SG is equal to um, the density or the unit weight over the unit weight of water, which is equal to the density over the uh, density of water. Okay, so if we know that we're gonna be using um, this formula, because I, I feel like this is a, it's a good place to start. We have, um, so we'll just say S G is equal to density over density of water. So we have the density of the fluid and I'll just say fluid. What is the density of water? Well, it gives us the density of water here. 1000 kilograms per meter cubed. All right, so this is going to equal uh, the density of uh, the fluid is 1000 kilograms per meter cubed all over the, um, we have the a density of water, which in this case is the same. This is not always the case. All right, and what do we get? Well, these everything just cancels out to equal one. So our answer is B. We could have done the same thing using the specific weight. Ironically, the specific weight it was the same for water, so either way it would have, it would have canceled canceled out um, if you if you wanted to use this particular version of the equation. I hope that you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to drop in and say if you're looking to pass your civil FE exam within the next 90 days, then you definitely want to check out the course that I've created. The video that you're currently watching gives you just a glimpse of what is in the course. 
and I have made it test taker proof. And what that means is, is no matter if you've been out of school for a while or you just have trouble with some of the engineering concepts, if you study this material that is in the course, it will help you to pass within the next 90 days. There are also full practice exams. Yes, 110 question practice exams, along with review guides and study schedule templates to help you pass. And these, re these are resources that I have created for you. So if you wanna check out any of those, just head down in the description box below and check them out now. Now to stay up to date on any new videos that I drop, whether it is more practice problems like in this video or if you want advice and some extra tips to help you pass your civil FE exam, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so that you know exactly when I post. And if you wanna check out the next video, you can here.